Common Sense Prize today, today goes again to the former Prime Minister, John Howard. By the way, happy birthday, Mr. Howard. He's 84 today, the 25th Prime Minister of Australia, the 29th Treasurer. Distinguished and decent. And he says simply of the voice, why are we doing this to ourselves? John Howard could always read the national temperature. Of the absence of detail about the voice, let alone debate, Mr. Howard says, quote, I'm affronted that there's such deceit and there is such an unwillingness to roll up your sleeves and explain what is involved, unquote. He rightly says the voice will, quote, create a new cockpit of conflict about how to help Indigenous people. Rightly, Mr. Howard says the Prime Minister has not commanded the heights of this debate in any meaningful way except to utter banal generalisations, unquote. More specifically, Mr. Howard utters the sentiments of millions when he says most Australians are frustrated, really angry, that so much money has been spent, but there is such little progress, unquote. John Howard, you're dead right. Yet now we've got the Productivity Commission saying yesterday, we want an independent Aboriginal-led watchdog with broad remit and extensive powers to deal with government's failures to meaningfully reduce disparity between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. Oh, stay awake. Another watchdog. Heaven forbid. As I've told you many times, there are already 3,352 registered Aboriginal corporations. The Prime Minister, for goodness sake, has his own Indigenous Advisory Council. There are more than 30 land councils. There's also a so-called Council of Peaks, representing 70 Aboriginal corporations. Now, the Aboriginal population is officially 3.8%, but we've got 11 Aboriginal MPs in the federal parliament, which represents 4.8% of the population. And now they want a voice to the parliament. Oh, God. And the Productivity Commission says we want another independent Aboriginal-led watchdog. Honestly, we've had enough. Seriously, we've had enough. The taxpayer already forks out about $40 billion a year to close the gap. A cynic might say, why would you want to close the gap if by keeping it open, you get $40,000 million a year for an Aboriginal population estimated at less than a million? Stop shaking your head. The joint has gone mad. And now the Prime Minister is trying to hose down the fact that images have surfaced of him wearing a Voice Treaty Truth T-shirt. Documents have now been released under Freedom of Information by the National Indigenous Australians Agency, showing that this Uluru statement from the heart is not what the Prime Minister describes as something that could fit on a single A4 page. No, no, no. Did you lie to us, Albo? It's 25 pages talking about a Makarata Commission. Now, Makarata is an Aboriginal word meaning coming together after a struggle, facing the facts of wrongs and living again in peace. So don't be fooled when the Prime Minister talks about a single A4 page. They want a Makarata Commission, which would be a virtual umpire in dealings between the government and Aboriginal groups. But as well as this Makarata Commission, this document, which the Prime Minister has never mentioned, calls for the voice to have officers, quote, on an appropriate site within the parliamentary circle in Canberra that would be, quote, supported by a sufficient and guaranteed budget with access to its own secretariat, experts and lawyers, unquote. And the Makarata Commission would sit above both the parliament and the voice. As Jacinda Price asks, is the plan for this to be implemented in full? Can the Prime Minister be trusted when he says this is not government policy? The former Prime Minister John Howard is right and speaks for all of us when he says, I am affronted that there's such deceit and there's such an unwillingness to roll up your sleeves and explain what is involved.